Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nuggets News. In this week's technical analysis, we're going to cover the big three, Neo, Amisigo, and Walton Chain. And I just want to start off by giving a shout out to the two people that sent me donations this week. The first person was able to avoid a large drawdown in their account after watching my consistently making large returns video. So it's not always about making money. Sometimes it's about avoiding those large losses. The second person sent a thank you after watching my Walton Chain video and we'll touch on that during the technical analysis. And the last thing I just want to mention quickly is my cryptocurrency trading course video I uploaded this morning. So in all the description of my videos from now on, you're going to see a link here to the Chart Guys professionally produced trading course and a discount code for a 10% discount. Now, I get a lot of questions about what resources that I recommend for those that are looking to further develop their um, trading and charting skills. So watch that video, hit that link, use that discount code if that's something that you're interested in. So jumping into Bitcoin. Now last week we were trading around 4,300 um, and we were looking for a break to the upside and sure enough we got that $170 move higher and we're still stuck in this sort of ascending wedge a few people have been pointing out. So I want to present to you a couple of scenarios on how I see this playing out. So last week we were looking for a right hand translation which means we go up for the majority of the length of this bracket and then we, we pull down we cool off before having the next move higher. So there's two scenarios. The first one is that we can continue higher now um, and then we have a little bit of a pullback and then we break higher out of this ascending wedge. Or the scenario that I'm sort of looking at more closely is this one here. So 4470 has been support and resistance a number of times if we go um, back into the, the past trading here. And I think that Unless we get some good news to push through um, this overhead resistance, maybe we break down out of this ascending wedge, we cool off, we reset, and then we get another push high. So they're the two scenarios I'm looking at. I know um, Bit Bitfly Japan just announced in the last few hours that they're launching a Bitcoin prepaid Visa card. So maybe that's the good fundamental news that we need to push through this overhead resistance. But that's the two scenarios I'm looking at. Um, before we are able to continue higher because I know there's a lot of headlines going on about the hard forks now and how that's all going to play out. So we need to keep an eye on how the market is going to digest um, and take all that news as positive or negative. So I've done a lot of videos on those. I'm sure most of you guys have watched those. Heading over to Ethereum now and a, a very similar um, Way I see this all playing out. So 33.15, right around where we're at at the moment, I'll just get out my laser again, there's been support or resistance on a number of occasions. So if we go all the way back here, and then we'll just zoom in, we can see that this has acted as support and resistance a number of times in the past. So we're at a really important level. And again, last week I was looking for a break to the upside of this um, ascending wedge and we actually broke down out of it and yet we're still trading higher. So we're trading in the 290s last week at time of recording but we still managed to get up higher um, but we did break down out of that, that pattern so to speak. So if we zoom out again, the cycle brackets, you know, hasn't been a lot of volume traded. Maybe we're giving a little bit back here with this bracket. This one's already started with this bit of a push higher but I think there's plenty to like about Ethereum. You guys know that I've been speaking a lot about correlations. Ethereum's also having its own hard fork coming up. So it's going to be very interesting to see if the market views these events independently, um, depending on how this all plays out. So look, Ethereum's still got two weeks left. I think we're still in a bullish phase as far as this bracket is concerned before we start to get these two brackets pushing down on the 19th of October. So. I think there's plenty to like still here for Ethereum. Now Litecoin has actually broken down from these long two upper trend lines here that have been in place for months on end and I've had to draw a new sort of trend line here I guess which is still valid all the way back into July but it, Litecoin has had extremely light volume if you just look down here, I'll zoom in a bit there compared to what we're used to. So a lot of traders are sort of um, 
I guess, almost handing a baton between coins. So people, the traders are wanting to trade Bitcoin. And if that's not working, they're wanting to trade Ethereum. Litecoin hasn't seen the action recently. And it's very obvious if you look at just the declining volume. So look, I don't think there's anything negative on the horizon for Litecoin at present. And I think if anything, we're, we're coiling up and Look, Litecoin was trading for almost $100 only a month ago. So look, I think there's every chance we break to the upside. There's nothing to, nothing, no reason to think that Litecoin um, should be you know, continuing this downtrend. So I think this, this most recent uptrend line is going to hold. Maybe we can regain these old trend lines with a bit of strength. We've still got a couple of days left until this bracket finishes on the 14th, so another week there. Let's see if Litecoin can regain some momentum. Um, if the others are to continue higher, if not, if we break down from this fib here, I, I think it's a pretty quick move um, down to $40 um, over the next week with that cycle bracket, bracket pushing down and that next fib level there um, providing some support. Heading over to NEO. So last week NEO was trading around 0.007. And we again, we were sort of saying the worst was behind us. Um, we've had a bit of chop. We're starting to hear rumors, nothing confirmed, but rumors about Chinese um, officials issuing licenses to these exchanges. So look, we got that break that we were looking at a couple of weeks ago. This trend line has since been intact here, intact here. Let's head over and have a look at the NEO price in US dollars. I know a lot of you like to look at it um, priced in Satoshis, but I, I definitely prefer um, looking at coins in US dollars as that gives you a better idea of their market cap. So look, we were very lucky that we were able to pick up more um, NEO at $15. Again, I'll just to draw this trend line here, but nice uptrend line here for NEO and I think if we get that good news about Chinese um, licenses getting exchanges we're going to really see this quickly test its old high so there's not a lot of resistance now um, you know maybe around the $40 level but again there's not a lot of resistance all the way up to the old highs all the way up towards $50 there so look that's what I'm looking at for NEO the same applies to Walton Chain, um, which we'll touch on in a second, but these Chinese coins, I know the Red Pulse ICO today, maybe the sentiment's really starting to shift after it got to that extreme um, negative sentiment um, in relation to all these Chinese coins. Now, Misigo has been a bit of a market darling and it has since broken down. So it's actually had some positive news um, you know, maybe that was all priced in, but I actually think this is starting to get look like a bargain and one that I might look to pick up more of if we get down to this 50% fib retracement around $7.50. So since we broke out here all the way back down to a dollar, we've had a huge run up to almost $14. Look, this level here, I might get out my laser again. It's Provided some pretty good support on a number of occasions. Look all the way back here. So that's at around $8. Maybe I set a few orders here. Maybe a few if we get down to this fib. But look, a Misa Go, you guys know this is one I've done fundamental analysis on. I like it for the for the long term. Maybe the spotlight shifting, but look, if you want to buy this one up, I think this is every chance that at some stage it's going to get back to its old highs. I don't think this one had a run up in price purely based on hype. I think there's plenty of fundamental reasons and I'd be looking to maybe top up if we get a sell off in other coins and a Messi go gets dragged down with it. So the final one I want to touch on um, is just a quick um, basic chart here over on Binance, but Walton Chain, again, priced in Satoshis. I made my fundamental analysis style video on the 27th when we were trading around 0 0.007 um, Satoshis there. And it's since, what, nearly tripled in price there, nearly getting up to 0 0.002 Satoshis. So 
Look, Walton Chain, I know it's got a boring name. A number of people refuse to look into it simply because of that, but these guys are doing some fantastic stuff with RFID chips, the Internet of Things, tying it all together on blockchains. I really recommend you, you check that fundamental analysis video out if you haven't already. Finally, I just want to show you... Um, that the, the searches for Bitcoin have actually been trending lower, which has in the past um, been a good indicator for what we're going to see as far as price action is concerned. So look, that's just something I've got in the back of my mind. We don't want to put our blinkers on and only ever think that these coins can go up in price. There are going to be times when they need to take a breather, even though we are in a big bull market. So again, Ethereum trending down there, Litecoin definitely trending down. And again, as I said, Walton Chain here, still not even registering and barely a blip on these Google searches. So that's what we like to see, a coin that's still on no one's radar that's got strong fundamentals. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Please hit like, subscribe if you haven't already, share these videos around. And as always, thanks for tuning in, guys. Cheers.